Ruth 2. Ruth and Boaz meet. Now, Naomi had relatives on her husband's side. He was a prominent man, a noble character from the Ibosh family. His name was Boaz. Ruth the mobile lights asked Naomi, Will you let me go into the fields and gather the fallen grain behind someone who I find favor? Naomi answered her, Go ahead, my daughter. So Ruth left and entered the fields to gather the grain behind the harvesters. She happened to be in the portion of the field belonging to Boaz, who was from the L family. Later, when Boaz arrived in Bethlehem, he said to the harvesters, The Lord be with you. The Lord bless you. They replied, Boaz asked the sir, his servant, who was in charge of the harvesters, Whose young woman is this? The servant answered, The young mo mobile like woman who returned with Naomi from the ter territory of Moab. She asked, Will you let me gather? Fallen grain among the bundles behind the harvesters. She came and has been on her feet since early morning, except that she rested a little in the shelter. Then Boaz said to Ruth, Listen, my daughter, don't go and gather grain in another field, and don't leave this one, but stay here close to my female servants. See which field they are harvesting and follow them. Haven't I ordered the young men not to touch you. When you are thirsty, go and drink from the jars the young men have filled. She fell face down, bowed to the ground, and said to him, Why have I f found favor with you? So that you notice me, although I am a fo foreigner, Boaz answered her, Everything you have done for your mother-in-law since your husband's death have been, has been fully reported to me. How you left your father and mother and your native land and how you came to a people you didn't previously know. May the Lord reward you for what you have done. And may you receive full reward from the Lord God of Israel under whose wings you have come for refuge. <laughs> My
My Lord, she said, I have found favor with you, for you have comforted and encouraged your servant through, although I am not like one of your female servants. At meantime, Boaz told her, at mealtime, Boaz told her, come over here and have some bread and dip it in in the vinegar sauce. So she sat down beside the harvesters and he offered her roasted grain. She ate and was satisfied and had some left over. When she got to gather, got up to gather grain, Boaz ordered the young men, let her even gather among the bundles and don't humiliate her. Pull out some stalks from the bundles for her and leave her leave them for her to gather don't rebuke her so Ruth gathered the rain the grain until in the field until evening she beat out what she had gathered and it was another 26 quarts of barley. She picked up the grain and went into town where her mother-in-law saw what she had gleaned. She brought it out what she had left over from her meal and gave it to her Her mother-in-law said to her, Where did you gather barley today? And where did you work? May the Lord bless the men who noticed you. Ruth told her mother-in-law, whom she had worked with, and said, The name of the man that I work with today is Boaz. Then Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, May the Lord bless him, because he has not abandoned his kindness to the living or dead. Naomi continued, The man is close, is a close relative. He is one of our family, Redeemers. Ruth, the Moabite said, he told me, he also told me, stay with my young men until I have finished all my harvest. So Naomi said to her her daughter-in-law, Ruth, my daughter, it is good for you to work with his female servants so that nothing will happen to you in in another field. Ruth stayed close to Boaz's female servants and gathered the grain until the barley and wheat harvest were finished. And she lived with her mother-in-law. Thank you for listening and God bless.